Hello. Uh, today is uh, the second session of uh, determining the equivalence capacitance of uh, different arrangements. So a few weeks back we did one session in which uh, uh, we found the equivalent capacitance of uh, several arrangements. And today is uh, uh, just to, uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll be doing those things which we missed that time. So the topic for today will be uh, determination of determination of determination of equivalent equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance and this is session two so at that time uh, we especially dealt with uh, uh, the system of uh, parallel arrangements so we still have uh, some more remaining there let us say if we have an arrangement like this if we have a uh, four plates like this four plates like this and let me say these two plates can form a capacitance C, these two plates can form capacitance C, and these two plates can form capacitance C. And if we connect them like this, this is connected to the negative terminal, and this is connected to the, 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 the positive terminal. If so, we will have only positive charges here, positive charges. So, positive charges here and uh, also positive charges here positive positive here i am not going through the exact number of charges but uh, it is just about the nature of the charges so what happens now is these two plates form a capacitance c and that these two plates also form a capacitance c now what happens here is if i redraw this picture if i redraw this picture the diagram would be like from here we have uh, two plates, we have one plate this and we have one plate this. For ease, what I can do is, I can name it as plate 1, plate 2, plate 3 and plate 4. So from here, <coughs> we have, if the, I name this terminal as A, this will be A and this will be plate 1, this will be plate 4. And here some space, plate 3, so some space, plate 3, like this and some space plate 2 some space plate 2 from plate 2 and 3 if i name this point as b so plate 2 and plate 3 it goes to a common point which is b and from there where it goes like this so that's why now if i use the charges here i am not talking of the number here so just uh, i am uh, writing the signs so the two capacitors will be appearing somewhat like this. So that means the two capacitors are in parallel. So if they form C and C, this will be C and C and the total will be C total, total will be equal to 2C. So this is also a, an example of the parallel arrangement. <coughs> now if uh, the arrangement is somewhat different, somewhat different, we are going through the next arrangement here. If the arrangement now is, if we connect this plate and this plate here to something positive, something positive, and then this plate and this plate to something negative. So now the whole system will look to be different. So let us say this will be minus, 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 minus. minus. It will be plus, 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 plus. This will be minus, 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 and so on. So if I name the plates once again, so it is 1, 2, and this is 3, and this is 4. Now what happens here is, here the role of plate 1 and 4, the role of plate 1 and 4 is different from the role of plates 2 and 3. Because plate 1 will be just positive. For whatever plate, it will act as positive. And uh, plate 4 will also act as negative. But here, plate 3 will be acting as positive for two of them. It will be working for 2 as well and it will be working for 4 as well. Similarly, plate 2 will also be working for 1 as well and 3 as well. So if I arrange the, uh, if I look at this arrangement, it will look somewhat like this from this point A and let's say from point B. From point A, we have 
one plate going like this. So this is plate one. And uh, after plate one, it will be gap and then plate two. So gap and plate two, it goes to point two B like this. So this is B and this is A. Now from A, we have now plate three. So from A, we have now plate three. But plate three will be acting as a capacitor with two and four as well. So that means plate three has got two parts. Plate 3 has got two pieces or two parts, let us say. This is 3 and this is also 3. Plate 3 has got two pieces, 3, 3 upper, <coughs> upper piece and 3 lower piece. Now one of this plate, one of this, uh, uh, one of this uh, piece will be working as a capacitor with 2. So that means we have this uh, 2 here and from 2 comes B. So, here we can see the dual role of 3 and 2 as well. 2 will be acting as a capacitor with 1 and 3 as well. 2 acting with 1 and 3 as well. And 3 is acting with 2 and 4 as well. So 3 acting with 2 and this uh, is 4. From 4 it goes up to <coughs> B. So the uh, polarities will be 1 will be fully positive. So I am just using the sign and not the magnitude. 2 will be negative, 2 negative, 3 positive, 3 positive and 4 is negative. So if they form a capacitance of C, C, C like this. So now we have C, C, C and C total will be equal to 3 C. <coughs> so if we have uh, lots of such plates, so if we have N such plates, N such plates, there will be n minus 1 capacitors in parallel. So we have 4, 3, 1 less. So if we have n such plates stacked one over another with some space, so we'll have n minus 1 capacitors in parallel. So that's why we'll have n minus 1 capacitors. n minus 1 capacitors. So therefore, in such case, C total will be equal to, equal to n minus 1 C. <coughs> So the number will be exactly one less than the number of plates.